Hello everyone, and welcome to a video going over the safest location to farm for legendaries. And yes, those quotation marks around safest are something we'll be going over, but not just yet. This is a guide for how to farm legendary enemies in an easy and safe location. I'm not claiming this is the best or most effective location to get legendaries, but it's probably the safest, and it's where I've been getting the majority of my legendaries. As the footage is showing, the location I'm going to be talking about in this video is Watoga. This high-tech city is filled with Assaultrons, Protectrons, Mr. Handys, and iBots. Although these enemies are initially hostile, once you complete the Mayor for a Day quest, they become friendly and will no longer attack you. Having a horde of enemies that no longer decide to fight you is obviously advantageous, but it yields even greater results for easy legendary farming. Legendary enemies spawn somewhat at random, which means the more creatures you run across, the better chance of one of them being a legendary. So far I've seen one legendary Assaultron in Watoga, and dozens of legendary Protectrons during my time spent there. When you head there, you might get unlucky though, and not run across any first time around. Your initial instinct may be to try hopping into another server, in the hope that there's a legendary next time. Instead of doing that, just kill a bunch of a stand of robots. There are robot construction pods all over Watoga. When a robot dies, the city crafts another one. There is sometimes a small wait before the robot is crafted, but it rarely is that long. I find I can constantly do laps of Watoga and always have at least one robot to kill. The chances of getting a legendary are random, but with so many enemies spawning in, it makes it more than likely you'll run across one sooner rather than later. Even without legendary spawning, you end up getting a decent chunk of easy XP from all the robot killing, not to mention near the loot you get from them as well. Steel, aluminum, and lead are all very common to find in dead Protectrons, and if you kill an Assaultron, you get a whole bunch of junk from that. Although farming for legendaries is the key part of this video, don't underestimate the other rewards you get from this process. Earlier in the video, I mentioned that you need to complete the Mayor for a Day quest to turn the robots friendly. This quest is the reason Safest has quotation marks around it, as this quest can be a bit of a nightmare. To start the quest off, you need to head to Watoga and go to the very top of the Municipal Centre. Talk to the machine up top and follow the quest through. There's some standard fetch quest and uncovering lore objectives, but the part that makes this quest so difficult is the final stage, where you have to go to the roof of the building and fight off waves of gutsies for 5 minutes. High level gutsies can be a nightmare to deal with. Their attacks do a hell of a lot of damage, and the game spawns in dozens of them in a confined space for you to deal with. Last night I was doing this quest with Stilltown Eric, and it took us 3 attempts to complete, as if the quest holder dies, the stage resets, meaning you have to last all 5 minutes in one go. If you go in underprepared, you will die. My advice would be power armour, high damage and defence loadout, and plenty of explosives. Eric crafted a ton of Merv frag grenades, and they tore through the robots, turning what had been an impossible fight into almost a walkover. As difficult as the final stage of this quest can be, it most certainly is worth it. Not only for making Motoka friendly, but also as it rewards you with All Rise, a unique super sledge. Once this quest is completed, you've now got a place where you can farm for legendaries at a relaxed pace. No need to fight against dangerous foes for hours on end just to get a nocturnal rolling pin. Instead, pick off basic Protectrons until a legendary spawns, and then kill it for an easily acquired legendary weapon. That could well be the best you find. As some additional tips for farming this place, I would recommend a high damage single shot gun or a fast swinging melee weapon. The enemies are initially friendly, but the specific one you attack will turn hostile if you take too long to kill it. I personally had an instigating black powder rifle, which was perfect as I could take down the legendaries with a single shot. When you do kill a legendary robot, don't stick around admiring your haul for too long as the robots will explode! If you find yourself lugging around too many legendaries, then you can sell them off at either of the vendors in Watoga, helping you to manage carry weight and earn a few caps at the same time. And that's it for this guide. Nothing too advanced here, but an idea I haven't seen that many people focusing on. I see plenty of people attempting to go on dangerous quests for their legendaries, but I like to take things easy more of the time, so Watoga is the place for me. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments, and I'll be happy to respond. If you found the video helpful, please leave a like to let me know, and if you want more content similar to this, then click the subscribe button as well. As always, thanks for watching. Sarge out.